Hello everybody, welcome to my first video of the series of tutorials about C++ for beginners. I'm excited about this, so let's start straight away. We go here, new project, and then I create an empty project. Let's call the first project just lesson 1. There we go. That's the solution name and here is the project. So let's add now the main file where the program starts. Go the going there, add new item. And it's gonna be cpp type of file. Let's just call it main, main cpp, add. And here is our starting point for doing coding. This is exciting. And first of all, let's use 64-bit. So choose the 64-bit from there. To do the basic frame for all of this, we will first type include and iOS stream. And using namespace std. And then the main function where, the, where everything starts int main and that one should return normally zero so this is the main point here where everything starts we don't worry too much about all of this at the moment because we, we just want to start with the basics only this one is kind of important here because this is the starting point of the program and here are the brackets and all the code should go inside these two brackets and here here we can compile this program so i press that button compile or or we can also compile it from the menu uh -huh, yeah we can also compile we can go to build and then build lesson one but we will come back to that later on so let's start let's print something first on on the black window on the console window so to do that, we say C out. Hello, first lesson. And then just that one. And now let's just first run it and see what happens. Control F5. Control F5 from the key uh, from the keys. You can start with Control F5. Or you can go here and start start without de debugging, for example. So I just press Control F5, and there we go. So here is the text: "Hello, f hello, first lesson. Yeehaw! The first program has been done. This is the first pro program we we have done, and it will get better after this." Okay, so let's see now a little bit in detail what's happening here. So int main is the starting point of the program. So this line 7 will be the first line it will execute. The program will execute this one first. And the program will go down line by line. Obviously here is nothing, nothing here, so nothing happens. And then it goes on line, uh, line 9 and the function returns and the program stops here. So if I, for example, copy this a couple of times and then Ctrl F5, compile and run. So now we get that three times here so it's gonna go line by line and if I put here a dot I'll, I'll show immediately how to debug this because sometimes you want to see line by line what's happening we can press start debugging F5 like you can see from here start debugging F5 or we can press F5 from the keyboard I will press F5 from the keyboard you can see that there's nothing on a black window yet and you can see the see the yellow arrow is there pointing to the first line but the first line has not been executed yet how do we know because there's nothing here in the black window so we go one line now forward f10 or you can go here also step over it's called step over we can debug go one line over okay so now it executed this line so it should print now hello world and there it is it printed the first command here hello first line and now if we press f 
F10 again, going one more line. And there we go. Now it printed, did the second thing. It printed the second line. So now let's a little bit uh, learn how to use this print printing thing here. We can add there more if we want. I can I can print another one on the same line. Like it's me. It's me like this. And if we run this now, Control F five. And there it is. So it just it just keeps adding that string. So we can separate that that and it will first print this one and it will immediately continue printing from here. So how can we print on the second line? If we want to print this one on the first line and then we want to continue to the second line. The way to do is is that we will put here we will type end line here like that. And now if we print something here like hide there now we will see that it will go on the second line there we go so it goes on the second line and we don't need to we don't need to have two lines here we can combine it actually so we could actually put this thing there we can put it here like this and it would also work so there's an end line and then the next thing we're gonna print is high there let's run this one also to see it it's gonna do the same thing yeah it's doing the same thing so it's printing the first one hello hello first lesson here and then it's printing it's me here and then the next command here is to uh, to move the cursor to this to the second line so it it goes to the second line and then on the second line we will print this one so it's kind of moving the cursor this end line is moving the cursor where to print next so if i put two of them here obviously we will get two of them here if, if i put two of them now and we will run it we should have now one empty line between and that's it we have two one empty line there because i put two of them there Okay, so let's now a little bit play with this C out more. So how would we print a rectangle, for example, just for fun? I've done it already, so I'm gonna just copy and paste that. Paste that. So rectangle would look like that, isn't it? So on the first line, we will print those lines, and then we will print this vertical arrow like this, and we put the empty, empty spaces here like this. So let's see if this trick works. Wow, it works. It works. How would, how would we now move this rectangle one space to the right? Okay, I'll ask you that question. How would you move this rectangle so that it will start here and it would go all the way to here? How would you do that? Who will answer? I can't hear anybody answer, so <laughs> let me do that then. Well, I will just add one here, isn't it? If you add one here, one space, now it starts from one, yeah, there you go. So there's one space here. So we move that rectangle a little bit. So how would we move this rectangle downwards one, one space so that they will be empty? That's easy. I think everybody knows how to do that. So we will put one, one here well, actually, we just put the end line, isn't it? We don't need to put any any spaces. We just put end line here because end line puts a new line. Okay, so the end line end line here puts that new line, and then we continue from line eight and print normally this one. Good, good, good. So let's put a separator there and print something else. So now I put a new line here and let's print something else else then. So how would we print the tic-tac-toe board, tic-tac-toe game board? No problem. Let's see. I will I will give the solution straight away. Okay, there it is. So tic-tac-toe, we will print something like this. You can see that already we can see straight away here how it's going to look. That's the good that's the good thing with this text 
text printing like this we can see straight away how it's gonna look it's gonna look something like this that's why we want to put these prints on a different line we could combine them on the same line like I could I could do like that this and it will do exactly the same thing but obviously it's much easier to see what's happening here if we do like this so I would recommend warmly to do like this okie stokies so let's first see if this really works and there it is and so this is the tic-tac-toe game but obviously let's say that we play this tic-tac-toe game let's put x there and let's put the zero there so how how would we do that well i think we know how to do that let's just copy that one and place it there so obviously we will put here instead of putting space here we can put x there and in the middle here remove that and put a zero there i think that's gonna work and it is surely working yeah so maybe in the future we can create a t simple tic-tac-toe game that when the user plays x and then the, the other other user plays zero we can start printing this board like this and so maybe we can do this nicely in the future like a real simple game it should not be too difficult but let's first learn the the basics of c++ before we go there i'll show a couple of more things here here about the printing let's put one new line there again so let's see what i have next here here i'm printing first my name is john i am 45 years old so this is how we can separate different types of information so this is kind of string right this is a string or text this is text this is a number and then we are printing text again uh -huh. actually let me remove that one that's too early <laughs> let's do this one only so we can put different type of information also we, we can combine them so this c out is is an intelligent thing or guy how would i call this a guy we are asking this guy to print first this text and then we are asking to print immediately after that 45 and then we are asking immediately after that mm, printing years old and there needs to be a space obviously there and there and then we are asking to print a new line and we could print something obviously here like yep so that yep would go to the next line so let's run this one and see if it really works and um, yes it works there is the 45 in the middle there can we put that middle inside this text? Well, obviously we can. So if we want to do that one, I will remove this. We can remove this and just put it there in the middle, like in, in the middle of the text. So this is not really a number now, it's, it's a text. It's a text 45 now. The other one was a number 45, but it all works. And uh, let me put back now how it was. Yep like that uh, let's continue we can print like that and then I live in London so we can print them obviously on a different different lines like we can say I live in London and then continue printing uh, sorry sorry I, I live in space and then we can continue printing on our next line so it doesn't need to be on the same line that's that's all i wanted to show here let's see the next one okay so my height is space and then we can put a decimal number this time let's see how that looks okay my height is 180.5 centimeters so we can put decimal numbers as well this is very intelligent to see out it can it can handle all of these things it can print i mean these basic things it can't do anything obviously but it can handle all these basic things like decimal numbers in the chairs text and uh, one more thing here okay 
we can do it on a separate lines or we can do everything on one line like I mentioned before and like that okie dokie we just run it also actually so here we can finish this first lesson my weight is 82.3 so yeah so this is how it goes it goes line by line like this and we can debug this also like I can put the I can put the dot here it's good to learn debugging by the way because we're gonna use it in a real programming a lot so let's learn to do it also so you can put the dot here and stop the execution there so if I press F5 the debug so we can start without debugging or start with debugging so let me start first without debugging this one F control F5 you see it doesn't stop it doesn't it just runs the program as fast as fast as possible but if we start with debugging F5 this one F5 so now it will stop the run at the red red dot and now we can go line by line or we can jump to another dot so if I put another dot here and I press continue so there's a continue somewhere okay there it is this button here F5 continue we can we can jump there and continue so let's see at the moment you can see that the black window is in the middle of printing and if I press now F5 continue it will now print more it will print all these lines between and now we can go for example line by line F10 and now it printed this line and so on we can we can go line by line and see what's happening here good 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 we will be using this in the future a lot so I just wanted to quickly show how it basically works okay thank you very much for watching and let's improve our C++ skills in the next video